Hey, welcome back to Python tutorial for absolute beginners. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to use if else statements with Python. So thank you for coming back. Let's pick it up right where we left off. So in the last video, we talked about like, yo, how do we use functions? And we learned, okay, we can make a square, but now how do we use if else statements and add some kind of conditionals, okay? So what we can say is if elephant body weight or elephant weight is greater than ant weight, then, you know, make a square, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have uh, elephant weight and uh, I don't know how much they weigh at the top of my head. I'll just write uh, 3,000. I imagine 3,000 pounds, if they're pr probably less or more, I don't know. Then I'll have uh, ant weight, and uh, ant weight will be like, uh, let's say, <laughs> I was gonna say 20, but they're not 20 pounds. Let's say uh, 0 0.1 pounds. I don't know what, how much they are. So cool, we got elephant weight and we got ant weight. Now we'll say if elephant weight is greater than ant weight, then make a square, all right? By the way, we're gonna comment these out so these lines don't work. Just to show you what that looks like is, uh, you know, I'll delete uh, this, I'll delete uh, these two lines for just a second. I'll hit enter and you will see that the result, nothing actually happens. And that's kind of what we want right now. With that said, I'm gonna move forward and uh, I'll go like this, okay? So if elephant weight is greater than ant's weight, then make a square. Just logically thinking about this, what do you think should happen? Do you think it will make a square or will it not make a square? Take three seconds, three, two, one. Good job, you're right. It will make a square because elephant weight is greater than ant weight, okay? So I'll run this and I'll break down actually what's happening behind the scenes. For this statement to run, this statement must be, must evaluate to a true statement, okay? We're gonna speak more on Boolean uh, logic later, but everything must evaluate to true or false. So when you say 3000 is greater than 0 0.1, it will return to you an answer. So for example, okay, I will comment these out and I will say, comment this out and I'll say 3000 is greater than 0 0.1, okay? And I'll say print, so it prints the result of it and I'll go to console and console it says true, all right? Now, if I do 3000 is less than 0 0.1, it will say false, all right? It evaluates to false. So if this evaluates to, so going back to our example, right? If this part turns out to be true, then this part runs, the square runs, okay? So in other words, if I change this to true and I run it, then the square will run. But if I change this part to false, like so, like this, then it won't run. So either you can have true or you can have false. Those are the two things you can have, okay? So what we're trying to do is make it so that it ends up, um, it, the, the statement gets evaluated and then something happens, okay? So if elephant weight is greater than ant weight, which is true, then it makes a square. But what we can say is otherwise, you know, uh, don't make a square and instead just do Kazi dot turtle uh, forward 100, something like that, okay? Just go forward 100 if that's uh, not the case. But as you can see, elephant weight is greater, so it's gonna still make a square. But what if I flippity flip this? What if I say elephant weight is less than ant weight, meaning ant weight is greater than elephant weight? What will happen if I run this? Well, what you'll see is, is gonna happen is that instead of running this statement over here, it's actually gonna run the else statement. Now, where this could be useful is you can say something like if you're making IG clone later at some point, you can say if user has a profile picture, then show their profile picture. If user does not have a profile picture, you can say something like, then show the anonymous picture icon, all right? That's what happens when you go to Facebook or whatever. You can say, if the login credential of the user on Facebook is accurate, then let them log in. If not, say incorrect password and have them try again. So those are some real world examples of how if else statements are used everywhere, but what I gave you are some simple examples you can use right now 
Uh, the link to this code, by the way, you can access this code right away. And uh, if I hit share, right, there's this link. And this link you can copy from the description below. You can also just paste it in like how I'm showing here. And once you hit enter, you can play around with this code, do whatever you want. This is gonna be the best way for you to learn and have access to it. And uh, I always suggest just use Replit. That way you don't even have to install Python and make it work. So, but if you want to install Python, I have a video, you can watch it, okay? So with that said, thank you so much for watching. At this point, uh, so please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notifications. It really helps out the channel, but more importantly for you, it's really amazing is because any types of tips, tricks, or motivational tips I'm uh, bringing out for Python developers or how to make a higher income go from low you know, if a high five figure income to six figure income, you'll be able to learn that. So subscribe to the channel because I'm bringing the fucking heat this year. I'm excited. Also like the video if you liked it or dislike the video if you didn't like it. And lastly, I do want to say that my new course, How to Automate Stuff with Python will be coming out and I'm really freaking excited for that. And that will teach you all the nuts and bolts, all of this, then some project based and most importantly it'll show you how you can start freelancing and earning an income with coding that's always my goal for everybody on this channel so you can pop in your email below i'll send you like a free master class or whatever and you'll be the first one to know when it opens up with that said i love your face as always this is kazi and in the next tutorial video i'll see you in the next video Going on.